Okay, welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined. Oh, geez. Ian Cress is here from WLNS TV Six <laughs> out in Lansing. How's it going, buddy? Oh, good. Why'd you say it like that, Casey? <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's just because I like to. Okay, for those who don't know, we do know each other. We've known each other for a long time, and, you know. Yeah, um, we'll go back all the way to high school. Well, yeah. Let's Even go further, I guess, than that, too. Further than that, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that. Um, so, yeah, so uh, we, how has it been being in television? You're back at, you're back at LNS where you interned after, um, after a short stint in Ohio and Zanesville. How was, how, just how has it been being back? Oh, it's been great. I mean, that was always a goal of mine is just to get back to Michigan because, you know, that's where my family and friends are. And, you know, especially being able to go to a station like WLNS, where, like you said, I interned at. So I already know some of the people there. I know the coverage area and, you know, being able to cover all the local teams there, as well as the school I went to and graduated from in Michigan State. It's really been a dream come true, honestly. It's something that I, you know, kind of always had in the back of my head as something that I wanted to do some at some point in my life. But, you know, I figured maybe it'd be a little more down the road, but you know, an opportunity came for me to go back to WLNS and I jumped right on that. And it has been great working with Audrey and Nick has been unbelievable. I've had honestly the time of my life. Like they've taught me so much and it's just been a blast. You've had a, well, you've had quite the interesting year. I mean, I mean, everybody has with this, but you didn't, you didn't cover one high school football state finals. You covered two. So when you were in Ohio, you had the opportunity to do that. And then um, when, when, of course, when high school football was delayed because of the, the statewide pause, you were able to uh, go, 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 see, uh, go see DeWitt get their first championship. Yeah, that was really cool. Just because, uh, you know, obviously, like you said, I got to cover football in Ohio. That started a few weeks before it started here in Michigan. And I got through that season. I think it ended for us in – like November, something like that. And then I remember my, the first week I was supposed to start or that I did start at channel six in Lansing. That was when football was supposed to come back, but then it got delayed again. So it was like, it was weird just going from football and then basketball for like a week in Ohio, moving to Michigan, moving back to Michigan and then going back to football. So it was like, it was really weird, but it was, it was cool because um, the teams that we covered in Ohio, none of them really, they didn't make it as far as the, uh, the regional semifinals. That was the furthest one of our teams went. So it, it was cool to be able to cover a team that was in the state championship game. And then, you know, like DeWitt did like to win the state championship game was just unbelievable. So it was a, it was a weird year, but it was fun. Okay. So you've been, so you've been making a lot of trips to Munn. You've been making a lot of trips to Breslin. Um, it's been, uh, you know, it's it's uh, we sports reporters went from having nothing to having everything, literally, <laughs> um, because men's because men's basketball, women's basketball, hockey, uh, boys, men's and women's soccer, volleyball. You got baseball and softball starting back up, and then you have all the high school sports. And of course, right when the big right when the Big Ten tournament and the NCAA tournament are getting started high school boys and girls basketball is uh, just a few weeks away from having their tournaments. Yeah, it's, it's truly wild. I mean, I, I think back to, you know, a couple months ago and we had nothing going on really. And it's like, oh, I just want to do something. And now all these things are happening at once. It's like kind of overwhelming at times just because, you know, you want to do your best to cover as many teams as you can. And, you know, there's at MSU, there's a lot going on right now. I mean, the basketball teams, like you said, they're about to go into the tournament this week. And then, you know, you got volleyball that normally is in the fall. They're playing right now. And same thing with soccer. You know, I was just at the MSU soccer game on Wednesday last week. So, you know, mm-hmm. that's just another thing we have to focus on. But, you know, we're still we, we strive for, to be uh, here for you in Lansing. And that's what we're doing. We've been doing a great job of that, of just getting out and going to as many things as we can. And at the same time, while MSU is, you know, probably our main focus, we still have been done 
a great job, I think, of covering the high school level. You know, every Tuesday, Thursday, whatever day it is, we, you know, Friday, the big night, fifth quarter, we go out to as many games as we can, get the highlights and reaction and just, you know, have that for our viewers. And it's been weird this year, too, with high school, because, you know, I'm sure you know, uh, in the C- uh, CAAC, they're not playing on Friday nights, yeah. which, of course, is that's our big night. You know, yeah. that's when the fifth quarter is. So a lot of our teams are playing, you know, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and we don't get as much time during those days as we would a Friday night. So it, our coverage maybe hasn't been what we want it to be in terms of just going to as many games as possible, but we still have done a great job of going to, you know, maybe two or three games on a Tuesday or Thursday and doing that. Um, so of course, you know, you get to, when you, when you did come back, of course, you were excited as ever to work for your sports director. Also who was also your mentor, Audrey Dahlgren, who I had on the podcast earlier. Um, what, what, what has that been like to work with someone that you look up to so much? Oh, it's been awesome. I mean, she's someone that, like you said, it was a mentor for me. When I interned there when I was in college, she was probably, she was, she was the main one that I would go to for advice just because I liked how she did things. I liked the, how, you know, her approach to the job and it was how I kind of wanted to be. And even when I moved down to Ohio, I still knew like I want to stay close with her so that, you know, maybe when a time comes where there's a job, she can help me out. Like, you know, like it did happen that way, but, um, she, uh, ever since I started, she has been nothing but great. I mean, honestly, she has supported me the whole time with just giving me advice or just telling me things or honestly just having fun. Like that's something, you know, she, she's very professional and very serious about her job, but at the same time, she loves to have fun. And that's what makes the job so enjoyable because, you know, you can't have a job you don't have fun at because obviously we take it very serious but at the same time you got to have a little fun especially you know like we just touched on there's a lot going on so if you don't have time to just sit back and just have a little fun while you're just at the station then you know the job isn't going to be worth it but she definitely makes showing up to work every day worth it just you know being able to kind of pick her brain and, and work with her yeah well it's uh So you're entering a very interesting time. As I said earlier, you got the big 10 tournaments for both the men and women you have. It's, it's an interesting with all the high schools going on, of course, but they're also, I think both finals are also at Breslin, which is convenient for you guys. Um, What's that next few weeks? What's that going to be like in out of the area, high school teams for boys and girls, Who do you, let me test your knowledge a little bit. Who who do you think is going to make a big run? Well, I'd say for for the girls, it looks like East Lansing, like they are every year. The East Lansing girls, they're undefeated right now. And they, they look as good as any team in the, in the state. You know, I wasn't here last year, but I've heard that they had a team that most likely would have won the whole thing if it wasn't shut down. You know, they had a lot of college players on that roster and a lot of them graduated, but you know, I think the, the saying goes for East Lansing, they don't have to rebuild. They just reload. You know, they have talent all across the board throughout their program. And you're seeing that again this year. And they have done a great job of, you know, handling all the, this weird COVID year and, you know, playing like they do. And that's when. But for the boys, it, for the boys, I would say, you know, you got Pawama Westphalia. They're playing pretty good right now. They're undefeated and they just – Um, on Wednesday, they just beat Dansville, who was also undefeated. So they have, uh, they've been able to go up against some of the better teams and handle that. And, um, I'd say for the CAAC, the East Lansing boys, they look good. You know, I think right now they're shut down because of COVID, but they, you know, before that they were very good. They have a lot of talent. Their point guard, Marcus Warman, he's a very good point guard. And they, they just have athletes and that's kind of what's led to their success. And, and yeah. Yeah. So it's going to be an interesting few weeks. If, uh, if you're a, uh, if you're a WNLNS sports reporter like yourself. <laughs> yes, it will be. It'll be very interesting, very busy, but Hey, that's good. So basically I know that, you know, there's a lot of things going on. Um, you know, when, you know, we get, you got all these college sports and when, 
of course, and you know, in the summertime, there's always something going on in Lansing, whether it's the lug nuts, whether it's, um, you know, some other, whatever else is going on. Of course you got in the, in, of course you got the tigers. If you ever want to go do that. Right. Okay. Of course you got NASCAR, of course, at MIS. Um, what, what's there, you know, kind of explain what happens to like a reporter during like the summertime when there really isn't a lot going on in the world of college sports and, and really in high school, in high school. Yeah, Well, that is definitely the time where I think a lot of people in this business, they will take more vacation a day off or two, just because it is a little, a little more relaxed and you can have more time to just kind of, you know, have a day off here and there and not have to worry about missing something, something big. But what's, what's exciting about the Lansing area is kind of like what you said, there is still a lot going on. You know, we got the lug nuts who luckily will be playing this year. Yeah. We got the tigers if you want to go down there, but also, you know, we have Lansing common, which is going to be a soccer club that'll be starting this year. And they're going to be playing. Yeah. They're going to be playing their games at Lansing Eastern high school throughout the summer. And they're going to be a team built by a bunch of local talent that used to play in high school in the Lansing area. So they're, it's not a professional team, but it's like a, you know, it's like a, a summer team, I guess a summer team where uh, college athletes or just former players that used to play can come together and play and stuff like that. But yeah. So we still have a lot going on throughout the summer and it won't be as busy, obviously, but you know, we'll still, find ways to keep busy and it's just it's a great time for reporters to kind of work on their skills and kind of work on developing stories that you know aren't just so obvious you know you have to kind of do a little more digging to find a good story in the summer mm -hmm. well Ian thank you so much for taking some time uh, to talk with us let's have you back on again it's uh yeah always always good to talk to you man definitely Casey I'd love to come back on again <laughs>